Supermodel Hayley Baldwin has been raking it in apparently and I'm here to tell you how. She's not just besties with the likes of Kendall Jenner and Bella Hadid taking cute pics and posting them on the gram, she's a force in her own right. If you didn't know, she's managed by IMG Models who just happen to be one of the biggest modelling agencies in the world and since being scouted back in 2015 to model for Ralph Lauren, it's been non-stop ever since. This is where the big bucks come in. She's walked the runway for the likes of Ellie Saab, Dolce & Gabbana and Julia McDonald. She's also had a shoe collaboration with Public Desire, a jean collab with Rag & Bone and her makeup collection with Model Co. Yes. She's one busy girl. Oh, and let's not forget that she has a Hollywood actor as a dad who goes by the name of Stephen Baldwin and her uncle Alec Baldwin can be spotted on the big screen too. I know, I know. Tania, get on with it. Tell us how much she's worth. Look, I don't like to be nosy, but seen as you insist, she's worth a teeny tiny two million dollars. That's also about to go up a bit when she becomes Hayley Baldwin Bieber. I like that name. Got a ring to it. There has been speculation though that this has already happened. After teasing fans with saying the wedding could be sooner than we think, the model has recently been spotted wearing a diamond eternity band on top of a second thick band. Yes. I had the time to look that close. If I'm playing detective, most people wear a wedding band once they've jumped the broom and tied the knot. The pair were spotted in New York City recently where the paparazzi had asked Justin what's next. He simply replied, getting married. Just remember, you heard it here first. Pete Davidson has covered up his Ariana Grande tattoo. That's it, deal's broken, wedding is over. Because if you don't have a tattoo dedicated to your loved one that you got after a mere three weeks dating, are you really in love though? Luckily there's no reason to stress that romance is dead and there's no hope for the rest of us. We still have Love Island's Jack and Danny to look up to. But no, in all seriousness, apparently it's been covered up for a movie role. Pete's in the middle of filming Big Time Adolescence, a coming of age film about a teenager who comes under the guidance of a college dropout. And by guidance we mean gets him in a lot of trouble. Pete plays the college dropout and while he's still got all the other tattoos in the other shots, the bunny ears behind his ear look to have been covered up with some sort of makeup. Which is a shame because I think anyone and everyone can and should stand Ariana Grande. College degree or no college degree. Of course this is all speculation and we can't say for certain how and why the tattoo is removed. For all we know they've broken up, romance is dead and the world will never know love again. Probably not. What do you get when you cross Rihanna with British Vogue September issue? Relationship advice? What's a magazine? You look really tired. Oh, well, cheers. No, I mean, it was the first one, anyway. Now, obviously, you can have as many partners as you want, but I'm not going to take relationship advice from someone who's clearly not interested in one. In an interview with the mag, she said, Don't expect too much. Just see how it goes. Yes. Yeah, I'll take, this girl gets it. She gets it. I've always said it. Our views on dating exactly line up. I think a lot of people meet people and then they're dating an idea of what the person could become. And that person never shows up and then they're just mad disappointed. A person can always get better. They can always get worse. But you've got to be fine with what you met them as. This is just great stuff. Awesome, awesome advice. From now on, I'm going to blindly follow all of her guidance. She was then asked why so many women have a crush on her. Oh yeah, this is good. Let's face it. I need help in this department. She says, okay, you're asking the wrong person. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm thick now. Right, okay, well, that's all we've got time for this week. Grab September's issue of British Vogue for the full interview, and in the meantime, keep it MTV. But seriously, what is a magazine? You still haven't said.